Hey guys, welcome back to No Kitcheny. It's me, Ella. Ooh, carrying stuff in my hand. Today is Tuesday, October 26th. And it's Vlogtober day 26, is what I'm trying to say. I just, I'm getting spacing. I just recorded No Kitchen episode that I'm about to edit in a little bit. I'm putting stuff up from it now. <laughs> I, before that, I did a lot of cleaning. The kitchen needed it bad. Not really cleaning, but like putting things back where they go. <laughs> there was stuff everywhere. We went to Walmart today to get some items that I couldn't get at, uh, at uh, Sam's Club. And I still forgot to get a loaf of bread. <laughs> but, um, and so stuff was just kind of sitting everywhere. Putting my crochet back where it all goes. <sighs> yeah, so I cleaned up the living room and I cleaned up above my stove. The cabinet has like where I keep all my sprinkles and stuff like that for baking. It had gotten kind of disheveled. <laughs> so I uh, organized it up pretty good. I had to climb up there with a step ladder because I couldn't reach up there good. <laughs> And now I'm going to get my cord over here. I'm going to edit um, my No Kitchen Name episode real quick. And then sit down and crochet and work on my or work on my spider blanket and watch some TV probably. I got the little treat bags ready for Jesse's school. Because we're, we're taking them there tonight. And I wrapped all of Jesse's Christmas presents so far because I just had them stuffed in the closet and I was afraid he'd see them. So I went ahead and wrapped them and stuffed them back in the closet. <laughs> I have a list on my phone of what they are so that I don't accidentally rebuy something. And, uh, yeah, so I got all that done this morning. My hair needs to be brushed a little bit. I just got an email about an event we're supposed to be going to in November. But I bought those tickets before I got pregnant. It's dark in here. And, uh, I'll be 29 weeks. That week, so I'm probably not going to go to it anyways. I already told Devin. Maybe they will refund us the money. <laughs> but, um, let's see here. It's a Van Gogh exhibit we were going to go to. It's an immersive thing. But I bought those tickets way earlier this year before I was pregnant. So, I didn't know I was going to be like 30 weeks pregnant almost. <laughs> uh, then. So, I'll have to go read that email. But yeah, so, I'm going to get that edited. And then I sit over here and relax for a little while. And, yeah, it's about 20 to 12. So, I don't have anything to do immediately right now. So, I'm just going to chill and take it easy. Drink some water. Because I feel like I need a lot of water. <laughs> and I will catch up with you guys later at some point. Hopefully, I will remember to vlog. But we do have stuff tonight. So, I'll try to take some little clips here and there of what we get. Or what we do. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. guys I just want to hop on here I just made those pretzel rods I put in some clips of them or maybe I will now I don't know <laughs> I'm not editing it yet but it came with two boxes of chocolate melts they're not actually chocolate they're candy coating melts one was brown and one was orange and I followed the instructions on the can for the brown ones and they burnt it curdled and everything um within like the first session of me just do it like increments of 30 seconds and it also burnt the container it was in and it like black and it burnt my um what's the thing called pot bowl cozy in the microwave like if i'd left it in there like if i hadn't been paying attention left it in there it would have probably caught on fire so i was like okay so i chucked them and then i got out a double broiler type thing you know a pot with water and a glass bowl on top of it <laughs> 
and put the orange melts in there because I've melted chocolate. I usually use chocolate instead of the candy coating. Um, and they curdle too. And I've never had that happen to me on a double broiler type thing. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so I threw them away and washed my bowl out. And I went to my cabinet and just got regular chocolate chips. And they melted perfectly fine. So I, it's either the fact that they were candy melts. Maybe they were old or something. Or had been exposed to, you know, temperatures in warehouses or whatever. I don't know, but they did not temper well at all. <laughs> and uh, I'm not too disappointed. But I just thought it was so weird that both of them curdled. Uh, melting them two different ways. But the chocolate melted beautifully and was smooth the way it's supposed to be. And I just put them on the pretzels with sprinkles. <laughs> so next time, I, in future for future reference, I usually make chocolate, a lot of chocolate things around Christmas. So um, I, I melt a lot of chocolate. I've done it a lot. I know how to do it. <laughs> it's just them candy melts are like trash, I guess. I don't know. If you're going to make something, just get chocolate and dye it. If you want um, different colors, just get some white chocolate and add some food color to it. <laughs> but anyways, um... What was I saying? I spaced. In the future, I'm just going to buy the pretzel rods because you can buy them in a big bag. Um, and just regular chocolate and do it that way. I like to use just either white chocolate or brown, you know, like regular chocolate. And then I decorate it with um, sprinkles and stuff. So, I don't even... I've dyed chocolate before, but I don't like mess with it too much. I just like to make it simple. I just thought that was so crazy that that one thing almost caught on fire and burnt my stinking pot what is it called? Bowl holder cozy thing? I bought two of those at a yard, uh, craft fair. Um, oh gosh. I think it was 2019 because it was before Corona. It, was, it had to have been around the holidays in 2019. Um, and I, just, I burnt that one. It's still usable, but it's got like a little burnt spot on it. And I, I, I can make those myself. Uh, so <laughs> I have patterns for those, but I, this is the type of thing is I would rather buy than make. That's like project bags. Um, I make project bags, but I don't make project bags for myself hardly ever. I usually just buy them from other people who make them <laughs> because, um, you know, it's different. Sometimes you just want something that someone else made <laughs> instead of something you have to make. So I need to get some more of those because me and Devin do use those a lot. And that one's got a burnt spot on it now. <laughs> but I will also, I thought that was so funny. It is almost time for me to go wake Devin up and then we gotta get ready and go get Jesse. Then we'll go get some fast food. <laughs> I know he's gonna want McDonald's because Jesse loves McDonald's, uh, chicken nuggets. And then we might hang out somewhere um, until time for the parent-teacher conference. And then we'll probably come back home for just a little while. Because the trunk or treat we're on to tonight doesn't start until 6. It's right down the road. It's at a car lot that's right down the road from here. So um, we will do that. And... I was going to take Jesse to my mom's to watch him, but her gas man hasn't come out and refilled their tank yet. They uh, bought, you know, another tank of gas, however that works, you know, uh, natural gas. Um, or propane, I guess. Whatever. Their tank hasn't been filled yet, so and it's cold. So she doesn't want him to come there with it cold. So she's going to come down here and spend the night with us so that she can get up with him in the morning and get him ready for school. Because me and Devin's got to leave. We can wake up with Jesse because I wake I, we get up at six thirty, but me and Devin's got to leave before Jesse needs to go to school. So then she can just take him to school and then go home, and then uh, we can pick him up tomorrow or Wednesday evening. Yeah, <laughs> I just gotta make I'll, I'll lay out all his stuff tonight so she knows what goes with him to school. But yeah, so that'll be fun. He'll love that. He'll love having Granny here. She can sleep in his bed because his the bottom bunk of his bed is a queen size. I think I think it's yeah I'm pretty sure it's a queen's house so she can sleep in there and uh, he won't freeze and she won't be cold either <laughs> I guess my stepdad's just gonna be cold <laughs> if he don't want to come but um, anyways that's so annoying I'm so annoyed with their gas company because um, they were supposed to bring out their gas two weeks ago Thursday two weeks ago on a Thursday whatever that day was and they never brought it and it's already been paid for in full. And she's been calling them and everything. And they, they're claiming that the guy who does that is out sick. But, I mean, who's sick for two weeks? And isn't there anyone else that can bring a gas truck up there and pump it into the tank? It's already paid for. I told her, I was like, if they don't come out soon, I'm going to go to the gas company. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, like, chew them out. Because they're both, they're not elderly, but they're, like, senior citizens. 
and they both have bad health, and if they get sick because of being cold, I'm going to take all the doctor bills to them, <laughs> uh, and they can pay their doctor bills because, you know, when you pay for something, and it's a lot of money, it's like 500 some dollars for them to get a tank of gas, um, they need to bring it out. <laughs> That's stupid. But anyways, let's see here. I didn't get an email today, even like bad mail, you know, like bills. So that was so weird. Me and Devin, I was told him, I was like, when do you get anything in the mailbox today? Because <laughs> it comes and tells me on my phone. And I thought that was so weird because usually we get like either like credit card offers, loan offers, church invites, you know, just the junk kind of mail. And I, I was a little bummed out because I like going to the post office and getting stuff. <laughs> I hope, hoping I'll get a bunch of Christmas cards this year. I bought a bunch to hand out. I think I showed them. I can't remember if I showed them on the vlog or on the No Kitchen Am episode. But I wanted to swap with people. It's fun to get Christmas cards. Or any kind of cards. But uh, I gotta get some stamps though. Because I only have like 10. I think I'm going to go buy one of those big rolls of forever stamps. Because then if I don't use them all for Christmas, I can use them the rest of the time. <laughs> so I'm going to go in just a few minutes and wake Devin up and get dressed. Because I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> And we'll probably end up going into Walmart later because I forgot to get a loaf of bread and we have lunch meat that we need to be eating. We got that bread at Sam's Club the other day, that Italian bread, and neither one of us like it because it's really um, spongy. I don't like bread at all anyways. I like to smoosh mine super flat. <laughs> um, and that kind you can't do that. It's like super spongy. So I'm going to see if my mom wants it or my sister or somebody. And I'm just going to go back to getting my regular. I usually get bunny bread. The honey wheat kind or like the walmart honey wheat um just whatever that happens to be there <laughs> uh because i like nice soft bread that i can squish flat because <laughs> uh like sometimes i don't even eat bread with sandwich meat i just eat sandwich meat but yeah so i'm gonna go do that i'm looking at the clock it looks like there's about we moved the tv down because i had to get into the closet behind the tv to get wrapping paper out this morning so now i can't i can only see half the clock so it looks by the angle it looks like i got like four minutes before i have to make Devin up <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. If not talking, it'll be for sure in clips. Because I want to take some clips of Jesse. Um, at the trunk or treat, it's a drive through thing. So we don't have to get in the car, which is nice. <laughs> the people who are running it is a Boy Scout troop. And one of the leaders of it is someone who knows my mom. Um, she, he actually lives next door to her. But they're, they also he's kin to my mom's husband. <laughs> but I'm not sure how. Um, so that's cool. But it's right across the street from Walmart, so that's why I figured we'd end up in Walmart, because Jesse will ask, and then I'll go over there, and we'll end up buying stuff we don't need. <laughs> as per usual. But I do need a loaf of bread, and I need um, some milk. I forgot to take milk earlier. And I want to get some more chocolate chips before all the, um, people for the holidays get it. Because, uh, I was, ooh, my hand's shaking, sorry. I was looking at them at Sam's Club. I should have bought a bag. I should have bought a bag. They had like a big four pound bag of chocolate chips. And I picked it up and I was looking at it and I was like, am I going to use four pounds of chocolate chips? And I should have just got it because I could have put them in the freezer. But I'll just buy some. I'll probably buy a couple cinnamon sweet bags, a couple milk chocolate because I prefer those. And a cup of white because I'll probably end up making some Christmas bark around Christmas. <laughs> uh, my alarm just interrupted me. It's time to wake Devin up. <laughs> but, um. I like to have chocolate chip on hand because I make a lot of Christmas bark for gifts for the holidays. I know my sister-in-law really likes it. So I always make her some. But yeah, I'm going to wake up Devin and I'll catch up with you guys later. Ow! Hi, Daddy, there's so much. Uh.